Today we're gonna to talk about how to give new life to an old item, like a t-shirt, stained duvet, even a tablecloth. We're gonna do it with tea dyeing, which is inexpensive, non-toxic, and you don't have to be Martha Stewart to do it. And that, Martha, is a very good thing. Welcome to today's show. I'm Jen Bolden with Jen B TV, where we provide fresh thinking on green living. We also test out the ideas and bring just the best of the best to you in five minutes or less. It's now time to tune in to be turned on to a whole new way to think about second lives. Actually, no, not the woo-woo kind, but the kind that we can give to our clothing and linens. Here's why today's topic matters. Number one, cotton is the most chemical intensive crop. It needs a lot of pesticides and fertilizers to grow it, and then to dye it, that dye ends up washing into our rivers and polluting them. Number two, cotton needs a lot of water to grow. And number three, it's expensive to keep buying new stuff when you can just repurpose your old. Tea dyeing is cool because if you have a dingy white or you're looking for more of that vintage look, you can dye with just a few bucks of black tea and in a non-toxic way. Cotton is the most pesticide intensive crop in the world. So even if you're buying organic cotton to avoid those pesticides, you still have to pay a pretty penny to get them. And you still need a lot of water to grow even the organic cotton. Now, we have about a billion people without safe drinking water. Wouldn't it be better if we gave it to them? And if that's not enough, cotton has a huge carbon footprint. It takes a lot of energy to manufacture, to package, and to ship all of these new products. So again, why don't we just give them new life, a la upcycling. So today we're gonna try a duvet that has a little bit of yellow. We're also gonna try a shirt that I think is gonna look cooler with the vintage look. And as an experiment, we're gonna try a pink polka dotted sheet. Now you may or may not know that I'm having a boy. You might wonder why we've got some pink sheets. Well, here's why. I've always considered myself a little bit of a swami for being able to guess the sex of all my other friends' babies. Literally, like 10 times out of 10, nailed it. So I thought for myself, definitely, I'm having a girl. And then we found this great high-end crib, of course, eco wood materials and non-off-gassing, and it had these great organic pottery barn sheets on it that were for a girl. And I thought, not a problem, that's what I'm having. Whoops. So let's get started, shall we? First, run your tub full of hot water. So while your bath is running, we're gonna boil about 10 cups of water here and seep about 20 bags of black tea. Also, you're gonna cut off the tags. Or you can look for this, which is te negro sin etiqueta, without the tags. Now we're gonna wait about 15 minutes while the tea is steeping. And this might be a perfect time for a commercial break. So step three, we're going to remove the tea bags and next we're just gonna pour it into the tub. Stir it around, submerge the items, and then let them stay in there for about an hour so that the stain can set. Now as the final step, all you have to do is rinse it out with cold water and then dry it on a high setting to set the stain. And voila, you have your new family heirloom. Now I have some lessons learned to share with you first. Number one, try to actually stir it when it's in there because I got lazy and didn't. In the places where the fabric was kind of gathered, the tea gathered too, and I got a little bit more of a tie dye than a tea dye effect. Number two, synthetic fabrics don't take to tea dyeing. And number three, when you do have a color, even on cotton, it's just gonna become a little bit more muted. Even though this pink is muted, not enough for a baby boy's room. But what we have left, I absolutely love. First of all, this is a organic cotton um, duvet that was turning a little bit yellow. I did have to go and make sure that I was stirring so it got no weird marks. And then this shirt, which I wanted to look vintage, it didn't actually turn out this dark at first. And so I went and I did a second tea dyeing in the pot on the oven with more and basically gave it a double dip in a concentrated tea. One, tea dye your linens instead of sending them to that landfill. Two, donate usable clothing to Goodwill 
or other places for a tax deduction. Three, give your ugly stuff to the animal shelters. They'll use it for dog or cat bedding or even rags. Okay, so in summary, any time that you can repurpose and reuse something, so much the better for your budget, for the environment. It's also called upcycling. It's giving something a new life. And we did that with our whites that we want to give a new life to. Most importantly though, we did it in a non-toxic way, which is especially important when you've got a bun in the oven. In closing, remember, consumer choice is driving change. And come on over to genbtv.com and let us know what you've upcycled and share your creations with us. Lastly, thanks for caring, thanks for sharing, and rock on with your bad self. <laughs>